Hello, so here we are with a hands-on with the ZTE Tourist, that's T-U-R-E-I-S, not sure if I said that right, but let's take a look at the device itself. So this is a pre-production uh, model that we've got here, so the specification features and what have you could change uh, before it comes to market, but uh, I have reason to believe it's going to stay fairly similar um, to this. So as you can see, it's a BlackBerry-esque uh, style with a screen at the top and a physical keypad at the bottom. This is a touch screen, so is comparable to the likes of the HTC Charger, because uh, that has a touch screen and a physical keyboard, like this said to you product. Similar in some respects again to the HTC Snap as well for uh, any of those Windows mobile users out there. Um, in terms of thickness it's fairly comparable, perhaps a fraction thicker, not quite as uh, tall as the Snap. Um, but let's have a quick look at this device then. So we've got a touch screen on the uh, front here. It's 2.6 inches in QVGA resolution. We've got some physical buttons including a start and end call button. We've got a back a search, a menu and a home button and then we've got a, a cursor for moving around the screen and what have you. So because it is touch screen we can still scroll through our customizable home screens and set them up how we choose. So then we've got a uh, four row keyboard here. This is an Azerty one but by, by the time it comes to the UK this will be a, a QWERTY layout. We've got a speaker grill at the top, uh, an LED notification light. On the bottom it's fairly plain, there's nothing bar a small recess for removing the back cover. On the side we've got a micro USB data and charging port. On the top we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack and power button and on the other side we've got an up and down volume rocker key. On the back we've got a 32 megapixel camera and then a loud speaker just pop off the back cover. We do have a micro SD slot and SIM card slot and we have a battery with a capacity of 1100 milliamp hours. So on board is an 800 megahertz processor so it's not super snappy but uh, for the type of person who's likely to want this device uh, it's going to be more than enough uh, for you. It's got Android 2.2 on it, whether that's the version that will be on it by the time it comes to market, uh, time will tell. So it's got all your GPS function, all your Google Mail services, YouTube and what have you. It's designed to obviously be used uh, in this orientation. So just take a look here, you've got your normal applications here and because it's vanilla Android it's fully customizable. So all your usual settings. So it's got 512 megabytes uh, on board memory of ROM, uh, 256 megabytes of RAM. It is a uh, 3G device so you can connect to speeds of HS uh, DPA and then it's got full quad band um, support uh, for just normal voice uh, and low speed data. So it charges via this standard micro USB now. Of course you can do all your email and what have you on here and that this is where it's going to be a big draw for people because it's uh, an email texting type device. Uh, if you're on a BlackBerry this is a good uh, device to switch over to um, as a starting point if you want to get used to Android without too much cost commitment. You're probably looking in the uh, sort of £150 price point for this uh, device which is uh, very competitive 
beats with the like of the BlackBerry 8520. In terms of build quality, it doesn't actually feel as cheap and plasticky as some of the other ZTE devices. Um, comparing it to the Char-Char, the Char-Char probably is the slightly more premium product, uh, but in terms of plasticiness, if you like, um, there's not a lot in it. If we bring in the HTC Snap, again, quite comparable. Uh, to what you have. Probably one of the potential drawbacks to this device is the keyboard. The Char-Char is quite good because of the spacing on the keyboard. Uh, having said that though, the uh, ZT device here does have individual buttons. They're not all joined or very close together like the uh, BlackBerry. There is a physical space between them. They are raised. You get a tactile feedback uh, to them. So this is the ZTE Turis, due to be available later in 2011. Thanks for watching.